ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to present the World of Outlaws Case Late Models Hoosier Dirt Classic, Brownstown Speedway for the third time in Outlaw Series history, coming to green. Turn number one, it's going to be Dustin Sorensen, the MD3 Rookie of the Year point leader, taking the early race lead down the back straightaway. He'll show the way early here in the number 19. Gustin and Hoffman battle it out for the second position off of turn number four, leading lap number one. It's going to be Dustin Sorensen. Ryan Gustin to his inside, side by side for the race lead off of turn number two. Sorensen shows the way right around the outside. Ryan Gustin going to look to his inside. They go Hoosier to Hoosier here in the Hoosier State, and it turns three and four for the race lead. Off of turn number four at the line, it's going to be Dustin Sorensen continuing to lead the way, but just barely. Here comes Ryan Gustin, that 19 of Sorensen put the right rear up and over the cushion, and that's going to cost him. We got trouble, turn two. Looks like Jason Jamison parked it in the top of turn two. We got another car that fell off the banking there. Gorsuch performance, green flag back in the air, back underway. Two laps in in this Hoosier Dark Classic. Dustin Sorensen going to stick to the bottom here. He'll show the way. He has Nick Hoffman. Applying the pressure on the bottom. Ryan Gustin going to go to the top shelf here in the 19R. Off of corner number four. This time, Dustin Sorensen will lead the way. Hoffman will take second from Ryan Gustin. They got the 97 and Dillard in trouble. We have Dustin Walker around in turn number four. That'll draw the second caution here in this feature event. Gorsuch performance, green flag back out. The 19, a Dustin Sorensen. Needs the field the turns one and two. Hoffman going to look to the inside. Sorensen slides up at the exit of turn number two. And Nick Hoffman going to take command down the back straightaway. Oh, Dillard in. Gustin make contact going into turns three and four. Gustin around. McDowell spins to avoid everyone on the binders. And this is going to draw the third caution. Hoffman and Pierce. Going at it side by side there for the second position. Down the back straightaway. Pierce going to take second from the nine. And Nick Hoffman. Shepard going to follow in fourth with the 16 of Bruning. Here comes Chad Stapleton and Devin Gilpin ripping the lip in the 1G. Off of turn number four, Devin Gilpin and Stapleton. Two Indiana drivers going at it for the sixth position. Hoffman has the bottom. Can he get around the 32 of Pierce? Slides up the racetrack. Hoffman going to secure second down the back straightaway. He denies the 32 of Pierce. Pierce now going to go to his inside. Looking for second. Shepard right there in the B5 as well. Off of turn four, both Hoffman and Pierce slide up the racetrack. Next to corner number four. And here comes the B5 of Shepard. Nick Hoffman second. The 32 of Pierce continues to run third. Rooting and the 22 star of Mad Max. Pierce and Hoffman pretty equal. Pierce with a good run down the back straightaway. What's going to make this battle even more interesting is when they encounter the tail end of the field. Your leader, Dustin Sorensen, can see the 40 D of Bronson down the back straightaway. He's about a half straightaway away from catching the rear of the field. Bobby Pierce now takes second from the nine of Hoffman. They are two by two packed in front of him, and the 32 of Pierce is closed in down the back straightaway. Now Sorensen to the inside of Jason Jamison. Jamison sees your leader. Oh, Jamison around. Pierce there. Jamison going to keep it going. And now, now, caution is out. Bobby Pierce in there, Coffin. In that first row with the 16 of Bruning and the 22 star of Max McLaughlin down the back straightaway. It's going to be the 19 of Sorensen continuing to lead the way. The 32 of Pierce in second, the 9 of Hoffman. Right on the outside, in the number nine, down the front straightaway, Hoffman giving it his all on the outside here. Hoffman will have second, everyone right around the bottom of the speedway, and Hoffman still making the top side work. Stapleton on the top side in the 32, him, Gustin Shirley, three wide down the back stretch. Bobby Pierce ripping the lip in the 32, down the front straightaway, Sorensen has it. Hoffman's right there. By half a car length, Sorensen leads the way down the back straightaway, Hoffman. Giving it his all around the outside and off of turn four. Do we see a new race leader? Yes, we do. Nick Hoffman, your new leader in the nine. Sorensen down low, Pierce in the third position, but the caution is out. And off of turn number four, Nick Hoffman, your new leader here on the restart. 18 laps to go. Sorensen second, Bobby Pearson third. Here comes Ryan Gustin. Remember, had to go to the rear in the 19R and has mounted a comeback. The Reaper knocking on the door down the front straightaway. Hoffman leads, and Ryan Gustin and Max McLaughlin side by side for the fourth position. And now up front with the Outlaws as he takes the Barretts one lap to go. Down the back straightaway for the final time here in the Hoosier Dirt Classic. 
Hoffman will lead. Dustin Sorensen with a career best in second. Max McLaughlin with a career best in fourth. Pierce in third. But your winner, the thrill from Mooresville, Nick Hoffman with his fifth career outlaw victory. How about it, race fans, for your winner, the thrill from Mooresville, Nick Hoffman. Yeah, I've won in that line so many times in my modified, so I knew eventually that bottom would get burned up as long as them guys didn't just keep pushing them infield tires in. But uh, I was kind of frustrated there, just caution after caution. Felt like nothing would go my way that race, and finally it did. And I was able to clear them there right at the line, and the caution comes out again. And I was just like looking at the board, make sure the nine was in first. So uh, I was pretty aggressive there with Bobby. I knew the bottom of the restart would be good off of four, but I just had to get back across him into one and two. So I was able to do that. And, can't thank everybody enough. Uh, NOS Energy Drink, Petrov Ton, CNW Trucking. Uh, everybody helps us out. Ty Torig, um, Derek Jones is here. He's give, he gave me my first ever late model opportunity. He lives about 30 minutes down the road, so I can't thank him enough. I don't think I'd be here today without him. So uh, just so many people to thank. A lot of you know my family's here. I wish wish Maddox and Roxon and Lacey were here, but uh, this one feels really good, especially to come here at a place that I, I knew I was pretty good and. Man, I just uh, had so many issues the last two days and all self-doing, so finally had something to go my way. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if I didn't win tonight, I, I felt like a complete dumbass all weekend. Just uh, gave two of them, you know, away basically, just at least run them top five um, my own doing. So uh, that was pretty stupid. But uh, yeah, just it's uh, been great. Lone Wolf Petroleum, FK Roddens, Ibox Springs, Bilstein Shocks, Longhorn, Clements, everybody that makes this possible. Um, all you race fans coming up and buying merch for my mom, uh, I can't thank you guys enough, and man, this is going to make uh, this next week a lot sweeter. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.